A new apartment complex in Minot is one step closer to breaking ground. Chris Stinchcomb joins us with what this particular housing unit could mean for dozens of people. Carissa. Thanks, Lauren. This new complex would provide low to moderate income housing to people struggling to meet current rent prices in the Magic City. And it's something the city's been struggling with since the oil boom. From a planned unit development perspective, I think this is a this is a good project. I think it meets the spirit of what that is built for. I'm going to support this project. I'm, I'm absolutely supportive of this. Building apartments that are low to moderate income has been a project the city has been working on since the beginning of this year. And they're for people that city officials say are contributing to the economy. Low and moderate is not to say they're not working. In fact, you know, I hate to use this term, but a lot of people accurately now are de describing tenants with these challenges as working poor. I mean, they are working. Um, they just can't afford the rents that others can afford. So, Epic Companies submitted a proposal to build a 42-unit apartment complex on South Broadway. At the latest city council meeting, members approved a $10 million project to move forward to the Natural Disaster Resilience Program. Right now, there are about 260 people on the waiting list in Minot for a federal housing voucher to get into existing apartments. And they're hard to come by. Only 19 vouchers were available this year. City officials are hoping this latest project will reduce the number of people on the waiting list. And they believe the location will be helpful not only to new tenants due to the nearby businesses, but to the businesses themselves. I believe it'll be a good opportunity for our store to have a little more community nearby and easy access to our pizzas and our facility. The complex would be mixed use, meaning 80% of it is residential and the other 20% is commercial. If everything is approved, approved, construction would start in 2020. Lauren, back to you. Chris Stenchcomb reporting. Thank you. The city's National Disaster Resilience Program Manager also said it's difficult to find out how many apartments are available and how many are low to moderate income because of the population of Minot. It's just below 40,000 people, so city officials don't have access to the same resources that other cities in North Dakota do. You have all kinds of data from the Census Bureau. So Fargo, Bismarck, and um, yeah, Grand Forks all have a tremendous leg up on us in terms of knowing right at the tip of their hands questions like yours.